Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. What do opening should I play today? Let's find out. Good luck. Our opponent plays Gokigan Central Rook. This could be interesting. I hear that third file rook against Gokigan Central Rook, or against Central Rook in general, is a beneficial meta for me. Uh, the for the third file rook player. Let's test that theory, shall we? Um. Oh, hang on. Discourage them from building the corner castle, and then they castle, I castle, we all castle. It's all fine. There we go. Um, interesting. I could defend slightly more, but let's seize this moment. This looks like a seizable moment. Or rather, I just don't know what else to do here. Oh, interesting. All right. All right, one game down, two to go. Good luck. This opponent prefers playing double swinging rook. Turns out I also like playing double swinging rook, so let's do it. I suppose the precautionary tale that goes with the last, or the precautionary message with the last game would be, um, uh, well, that's interesting. Look at that. They're going to bring the rook over. That's why they did this. I don't know if they're fully committing to that, though. And even if they are, this might be fine for me still. If the rook moves over, the king belongs on the left. Uh, if the rook doesn't move over, the king belongs on the right. So, I've got my little conundrum of not knowing where... Okay. Uh, let's press on this side as well. I don't know what castle this is. Um... Okay, they defend this point. This introduces different weaknesses. Hmm. I'm not sure why I did that. Other than... I had some feeling that this might help me defend my king better, but I could be mistaken. One could claim, and perhaps not inaccurately so, that maybe I'm just setting traps again. Um, sorry. Morning. Um, so... Uh, what was that? I was saying something about a precautionary tale with the last game, based on how that played out. I keep trying to get back to my little tail here, but they keep moving instantly, and I keep forgetting my message. So maybe it's just not important. Oh, uh, I was going to say that as Gota, a second player, be careful how aggressively you play. If you're trying to bust your opponent in the opening, you've got to be really careful and really confident. 
And if you're not both of those things, bad things can happen. Um, or rather, adverse outcomes could occur. Let's use the big words today. Um, So the opponent pushes on my the head of my castle, taking... If I don't take, they bring the rook over, and this attack becomes more severe. So that's my excuse this time for taking it. Um, in general, exchanging helps accelerate an opponent's attack, but not always. Um, uh, so this is heavily defended. The king is over here. I don't know where either of us is going next. Um, hmm, I don't know what this signals either. I temporarily block my bishop. All right, back we go. Hmm. All right, let's descend into this madness. I think the opponent retreats, and they do, yet again. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. This is a volatile situation. Maybe my bishop belongs elsewhere. Maybe I bring my rook over to this... Oh, well, that's interesting.
tense situation. Well, we need a new proverb, don't we? Drop lances at a distance. Not a terrible idea. Yes, please? Yeah, let's open this file. Can we? Okay. Sure, whatever. You get a silver, it's fine. I trapped my silver. I'll live, somehow. Thumping. Yeah, I missed that. I guess the story, or what I can conclude here is this bishop just is very much in the wrong spot to be able to do anything. And I don't see a way to reroute it, so... Hmm. All right, let's play with fire. The bishop's not doing anything, so we'll exchange it for a silver. After having lost a silver. Effectively, we're just giving the opponent a free bishop and a lance. Um, but this silver is offside, so... Maybe this isn't so terrible. Did I put my... Yeah, my overlay looks fine. I was wondering if I forgot to put a badge on there. Ah, right, the gold general can defend this point. That's troubling. Um... <clears throat> I'm just up a creek here, so we're going to push all the pawns, and something's eventually going to work. Or not. Nifun. All right, there's the six pawns attack. If you connect all nine of your pawns on the center line, is that an alternate win condition? Maybe it should be.
How many situations can you give me where I don't have a choice? I assert my right to make choices. Thirty Should have taken it. Should have taken it. I should have taken the pawn.
Thanks for the game. I should have taken the pawn. Oh well. I should manage my time better, but I can't win every game. It was an interesting game. Good luck. That's a beautiful formation, truly. It said that last game, or last victory, they played the Rashina style, which means they bring up this silver and they put the bishop behind and try to attack down through the center. So that partially explains my reaction here to try to stop that. Um, so... Yeah, now we're playing some freestyle strategy. Um, hmm. Normally I would bring the gold closer to my king instead of away from it. Um, oh, okay, I was considering pushing here, but now they've blocked this diagonal. So never mind, we'll block the knight. And since the knight's blocked, unless it goes there, this bishop is blocked. So now the bishop's stuck. Um, so, now that the opponent's stuck their bishop, I can do what I want. And take all the time, all the turns I want to do it. Slight exaggeration there, but... You get the idea. Okay. I guess I'll change up my strategy after all. So my silver is busy responsible or is responsible for the defense of this pawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a smart attack. It's given up control of the center, however. Um, so all I need is like a gold general right there, and this game is over. I'm not going to get that, but it'd be nice to have. Um, so plan B is that I shuffle this silver around a little bit so that my rook can go back to the center file. Or maybe my silver's just content being up this way. Um, I can't push this exactly, but right, that was expected. Oh, that's still a fork. I thought I was safe against this, but it's not so safe. Oh, they didn't take here. Okay. Yeah, it's not so safe for either of us for them to take that. Um, that could have been a mixed bag. Um, instead, let's put my rook back on the center file. And figure out how to attack this eventually. Maybe the opponent might help us open the line to their king. Oh, weird. I've not seen that one before. Okay, my bishop's head is directly protected. 
So I'll just tuck the rook back and bring it over here. Hmm. I'm content leaving that be. Previous games, I'd be like, hey, I could gain the tempo by hitting this bishop. But that's where my king is, so let's not do that. Um, Nana Fun. This is risky, but my bishop will be retreating probably back here. Oh. I see, this is where they want to move their bishop. Let's see what we can do about that. <laughs> there is a saying, don't run from a fork. I keep mentioning the need for me for a proverb, don't run into a fork. Um, uh, okay, well. Whatever. Oh. Okay. I'll take it. Thanks for the game. Well, three games down. Uh, hope we enjoyed the series. Thanks for watching. See you next time.